Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield came under fire last week when the pair went to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth II. However, the This Morning presenters were spotted by Sky News viewers, who accused the duo of skipping the queue. Both the hosts and ITV have since stepped in to defend themselves, with Holly telling viewers on Tuesday's program, that they were there to film a segment for the show. However, Holly's statement seemed to spark further outrage, with many calling for the presenters to be sacked. On Fridays this morning, fans were thrilled to see the return of Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary. However, as the duo welcomed viewers to the program, many took to social media calling for Dermot and Alison to permanently replace Holly and Philip. Liam Hotbend on Twitter, only five minutes into today's hashtag this morning and it's already better than all the other shows this week. We need Alison and Dermot to replace those other two. Sick, at UKTV underscore forever tweeted, hashtag this morning thank god we have the original presenters today. At Lackey one added, hashtag this morning totally different feel today, much better presenters. What a difference compared to the last three days hashtag this morning, Diane Gay praised. While user at Susanna465900017 commented, Love a Friday on the program and today my favorite presenters Allison and Dermot. Hashtag this morning. At Flady1980 went on to say, can finally watch hashtag this morning, I'd rather have Allison and Dermot any day over the hashtag Phil and Holly. However, some viewers stepped in to defend Holly and Philip, with Nella tweeting, boring without Holly and Schofield hashtag this morning. One angry viewer also set up a petition to have the duo axed from this morning. So far, the petition, which originally had a goal of 5,000 signatures, has now surpassed 60,000. On Tuesdays this morning Holly and Philip addressed the queue-jumping accusations. Holly began, like hundreds of accredited broadcasters and journalists, we were given official permission to access the hall. It was strictly for the purposes of reporting on the event for millions of people in the UK who haven't been able to visit Westminster in person. The rules were we would be quickly escorted around the edges to a platform at the back. In contrast, those paying respects walked around a carpeted area beside the coffin and were given time to pause. None of the journalists or broadcasters there took anyone's place in the queue and no one passed by the Queen. We, of course, respected those rules, however, we realize it may have looked like something else. Therefore, we, totally understand the reaction. Please know, that we would never jump a queue. This morning airs weekdays at 10am on ITV.